monthly favorites and um, yeah I might sound a little nasally because I just got over a cold um, I still have some mucus all up in me but anyways um, time for my monthly faves for this month of October I'm gonna try to be quick I know I always say this but I'm trying to be quick get to the point so you guys will be watching this video forever and for those of you wondering why I haven't put out more Halloween videos it's simply because I never really was a big fan of Halloween. I mean, I haven't actually celebrated Halloween since I was a child. So, I'm, I just don't really celebrate it. I put out one video for you guys just because, you know, I didn't want to leave you hanging. But Halloween, you know, it's not really my thing. So, if you understand, I hope you do. So, please forgive me and um, keep on watching. Alright, so let's get started. The first favorite that I love is my like all-time favorite thing. It's something that I need in my life. And for every single phone that I will ever have in the future, until of course they fix this issue, which they need to and they probably won't because they just want to make more money. My all-time favorite for the rest of my life is the iPhone external battery pack. This is the bomb diggity. You know what I mean. This has helped me through so many things. <laughs> it's like my baby. Every time someone's screaming and crying, my phone's dead. I'm on my phone like, <laughs> I still got another 100% left. This thing will recharge your phone all the way back to 100% from like, I mean, I remember the lowest that I believe I've used it on. I think I had like 5% battery life. It brought it back to 100 and it still had some juice left. Holla at the kids. You can get it really cheap for um, probably about like 20 to 50 bucks on uh, eBay or Amazon. I got mine for 70 only because I was so excited and it was really pretty. A lot of them are ugly online, so I got a really nice one. My next favorite, another electronic, but it has to do with hair, is this wand. It's all jacked up. I don't keep my cords nice and neat. Sorry, I'm just, just not like that. <laughs> I'm all over the place. But this is a, uh, a hair styler. I got this for, I think, 17 bucks on Amazon. I had to get it. This is the smallest barrel I've ever seen uh, for curling wand. I love it. It is my baby, my favorite. It does suck because it doesn't have any um, temperature control, so it can get hot. So if you do have this, try not to use it a lot. My next favorite, which is another electronic, are these headphones. Me and my husband love these headphones. I use them when I'm traveling, when I'm going to visit my family, when I'm on the plane, when I'm on the bus. When you put these on, you can, even right now, and I just have, <laughs> I don't even have music on. I don't even have the cord connected, but I just have them on my ears. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm probably talking louder because I can't hear myself. <laughs> but these things block out everything. And I don't know, I'm just in love with them. All right, so now it's on to the beauty stuff because you know I'm obsessed with beauty. My next fave is this NYX lip stain. Well, actually it's not a lip stain. Let me correct myself before you guys correct me. It's a soft matte lip cream, but I like it because it dries on your lips. So like right now I have it on and I can go like this and it doesn't come off. Wait, it came off a little bit. That was only because I just put liner on top. I put lip liner on. But anyways, look, in the center, it does not come off. I actually just realized that this is basically the same color that I wear in all of my videos that you guys ask what am I wearing my, on my lips. The natural color that I wear like in all my Instagram pics, the, um, the Jordana pencil in natural. This is basically the exact same color but I never knew because I, I, I don't know, I wasn't really a fan of, of NYX um, lip cream because I didn't know that it dried on your lips. I thought it was like a gloss because it takes so long to dry and I'm not used to that with lip creams. So I never used it, but then I gave it another try, and I'm in love with this. And I, oh, I forgot. And I just put it on with this uh, lip pencil from LA Girl. It's in natural, so what I'll do is I line my lips, because this is kind of darker than the color. So my lips don't look so crazy and, like, clownish. I'll line it with this since it's darker, and then put that on top, and there you go. My next favorite is a foundation, and I'm so surprised about this foundation. The quality, the color. And finally, finally, I found a foundation that has a yellow undertone. 
Oh my goodness. I don't know why I didn't think of buying this brand before. I should have because it's for women of color. It is Black Radiance. Now, this is their foundation. Um, color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Makeup. I got it in the color Butterscotch. Now, Butterscotch is actually about a shade and a half darker than me. Maybe a shade. I have it on right now. I don't know if you can tell. Like from my neck to my face. But um, yeah, it is a little darker than me, which I'm fine because I actually like sometimes looking darker than I really am because it makes you look glowy and tan and it's like I don't want to look lighter because then I look dull and my skin just looks blah. So I'll use this but then on top I'll use a powder which is my next favorite I'm going to show you. I'll use a powder that is actually my color or shade lighter and the combination will create my perfect shade. But then it leads to my next product that I put on top of it. I'm over here rambling I can't even ugh. wait let me get something to drink. Okay, my next favorite. <laughs> this is the powder that I put on top of the Black Radiance Foundation. It's Cover FX. Now, this is another brand. It's a high-end brand, though. I got it from Sephora. But it's another brand that caters to yellow undertones. Now, it caters to all skin colors, from the lightest alabaster to the darkest color, you know. But it has... Uh, I think two different lines, which is like the warm yellow golden and then it has like the neutrals and you know kind of like L'Oreal True Match in, in Revlon color stay. And I got this powder and it's perfect, it's yellow like my skin. I got it in the color G40 and the G stands for golden so that's why it's like perfect. I put this on top and then bam my skin looks flawless. My next favorite is this makeup remover from Maybelline. I showed it in one of my uh, videos previously, I don't remember, I think it was my fall lip colors video. It's called the Flash Clean Clean Express. This is actually a lotion makeup remover. So you kind of put it on your face as you would a moisturizer and you can take like tissue, a cotton ball, a cotton pad and you just rub it in like lotion and it takes your makeup off and it, I don't know, just check, check the description box and I'll, I'll put a link there if I can find it. My, one of my favorite blushes is actually from LA Colors and I've been using it every single day for the past month. In the color Berry Plum and I think for golden brown skin tones or yellow undertones it just looks perfect especially with a neutral lip color like the one I have on now. It is this and I'm reaching the pan right now but who cares because it only costs a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Hollow for a dollar. All right, my next favorite is a perfume, and it is from Britney Spears. And I love me some Britney. I love her perfume. I've used Curious, um, but there's another one she has that I use, and I finally got this one, and it's Fantasy. This cute little pink bottle. This thing smells sexy. It's like a really like fruity grown woman. It's like a fresh fruity smell. Like it just it just smells so good. I mean even to the point where I put this on um, when I went to go visit my mom and my brother and he comes in the room and he's like, hey yo, what's that? What's that smell? What is that? I want that. I said, oh, so you want my perfume? <laughs> That's how good it smells that my little brother wanted to wear it. Alright, my last favorite and they're really wet right now. So I use this in the shower to scrub and exfoliate and get all the nasty dead skin off of my body because I do have a lot. I have like horrible skin. You guys know I have back knee and chest acne and all that. Well, not acne, but like the scars now. So I'm trying to get rid of them. I use these gloves and it's called Dermas. I'm so bad at pronouncing stuff. I'm not going to butcher the name, but this is the name right here. If you guys know how to pronounce it. And I love these gloves. It comes with two and they're basically mitts actually. They're wet right now, so this feels so nasty. You put your hand in like this, and you just scrub your body. <laughs> and that's about it. My last favorite, my favorite of all time, the one that drives me nuts if I can't find it, my favorite spicy mayo. For those of you who have watched me for a long time, or for those of you who have seen my 50 facts video, or, you know, if you know me, you know that spicy mayo is my life. I could put this on everything. 
Just how some people use hot sauce and ketchup on everything, I put spicy mayo on everything. Just give me some spicy mayo and we can be best friends forever. <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next video. So make sure you guys like this video, thumbs it up, comment below, and let me know what your favorite was for the month of October. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Deuces! Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm.